Hi everyone. I um, just wanted to make a quick little um, vid because it's been a while since I've done that and I figured it'd be, you know, it'd be kind of fun. I've, I've kind of uh, come into a lot of time to do things. So I figured, you know, trying to get back into the whole YouTube thing might be pretty fun. Anyways, that's not really what this is about. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's um, basically using a GPU pass-through VM thing. But I'm using it for what I think might be a pretty unique use case. I haven't really seen many people online talking about using this in this way. So I figured if you're an artist, if you're a digital artist, this is going to be pretty interesting for you. So that being said, let's take a look at what I'm up to. I have been getting into digital art recently, um, but my 970 is not really up to the task because I, you see, I have all these monitors. You see, I've got, I've got one, two, three, and um, one of my ports on my 970 broke a while back. Kind of annoying. Um, so I was only ever able to use three monitors, and this this art tablet that I got that I picked up, this uh, XP Pen uh, RS12, it's just a monitor, right? It lets you draw on the screen. Um, but it, anytime I wanted to use it, I had to either I had to either unhook one of one of these. I had this one just unplugged for like the longest time, and that's fine, right? You can live with two monitors. Some people can live with two monitors. I I did for a little bit, and it was uh, it was driving me kind of crazy just having this black, just just sitting there, just just having this like completely blank, useless monitor just sitting here forever. So, um, I decided it might be a good idea to look into this VFIO stuff that um, one of my friends um, had been talking about and it's using something called KVM or QEMU Q -E -Q -E -M -U, um, to run a virtual machine that you then pass um, a PCI device through to or other stuff and other stuff um, and it basically lets you get near native performance on a, a GPU in a, a VM. So it's it's pretty close to just having another computer running um, performance wise. And it lets you pass through USB devices too. So if you have another GPU that you can use, you can just plug it in. Uh, assuming your motherboard is set up in a way that allows this. Some aren't. Some um, some don't isolate the PCIe devices in a way that lets you do this, but mine happens to, which is lucky for me. Um, and if it does, you can just plug in a second GPU. I've got a, uh, a Radeon 460 in there. I've got a Radeon 460 and I've just plugged it in. I had to swap my GPU, I had to swap my 970 to another port because it was on like the CPU. Anyways, it just lets me plug in a GPU, plug in the plug in this thing to this second GPU, this different GPU that I'm passing through. And it just like is a VM uh, and, it, and it's like outputting to this as if it were, uh oh. Uh, and it's just outputting to this as if it were another monitor. Um, which is pretty useful. Pretty good. Um, basically, this lets me not only have the extra monitor that I needed. Normally, you wouldn't be able to just use two different sets of GPUs in Linux um, to output more stuff, right? I mean, you can in some cases. And I've seen some funky XOR configs that let you use it as like a second client, like a second XORG client. It's really funky. I'm not doing that. That's weird. 
this is this is but this is completely this is way more useful to me because okay so i can pass through the usb device of the tablet right which means i can i can use it in windows as if it were just hooked up directly to the windows machine this basically means i can use any art program that linux doesn't have linux has a few good art programs but not enough I think, um, like my paint, my paint's very good. Gimp's very good. Krita is good when it's not crashing. Um, but Windows just has so much more. You can install Photoshop. You can install, you can have Corel. You can have Clip Studio Paint. There's there's just a whole lot of stuff in Windows that doesn't work work well in Wine. That this type of setup is kind of perfect for. Um, because most of it doesn't really require a whole lot of GPU grunt. I've got, I think I mentioned, I have like a, a, a Radeon 460 running this Windows VM. And it's a, that's a cheap GPU. It's not, it's not expensive. I think it's like a two gig card. And I think you can pick one up for like 50 bucks. Maybe, maybe less. Um, and, and that's more than enough to run all of these... Windows exclusive art programs. Um, if you're if you're running like a 16 gig machine, um, you can either pass through eight gigs, which is again, if you're not running Photoshop, that's fine. Um, like even for Photoshop, I think you can get away with it. I think that's fine, and, and I I've loved this setup. I've only been using it for a few days, and I, I really I really think that it's like... Uh, I think that it's kind of the way to do art in Linux right now. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, hey, everyone stop working on these awesome, these very good Linux open source um, art programs. My paint is extremely good. It's missing a few things. Um... Krita is extremely good. It crashes a lot. It's really annoying to, to use, but I think, you know, it will get there. But right now, in the state of things, how they are now, uh, I think this is kind of like the best way to do it. If you don't want to fucking switch to Windows, right? Or Mac OS or whatever. I've got this set up right now. My, my sort of like workflow is I, um, if I, I, I can use this, I have barrier, right? So I can just move my cursor down here into the Windows machine. If I'm not drawing, I can just use it as like a, a monitor to like play videos on or watch Discord or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but whenever I'm ready to, I want to draw, it's really, it's, it's so simple. I just take it, pull it back. And I'm ready to draw. And this is this is perfectly comfortable to me. For a while, I thought you know, this this thing was necessary, but actually, this is fine for me. So, and I've just got like um, I got like a few. <clears throat> I've got a few different like um, workspaces set up on here, so I can quickly move without using a keyboard and if I do need to use a keyboard I have passed this through to the VM so I can um, you probably can't see it but yeah and this, this is just like passed through straight through the USB receiver I've just passed that straight through to Windows and it just picks it up as if it were plugged in directly to the Windows machine but I'm I'm very I'm I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with this whole setup. I think this has been a bit rambly, but that's fine. Do this. If you're running Linux and you have an art screen tablet and you're having tons of problems with drivers and like programs that just don't work very well. Um, do this. I, I, I genuinely think that this is the way to go. 
right now, at least, if you're if you don't like any of the art programs that are in Linux right now, which is understandable, you can do a lot with them. You know, you can if if you're good at GIMP, you can do that's very powerful. Um, anyways, that's it for this. I'm gonna edit this together in Caden Live, which I'm not going to. I'm not gonna use a. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the VM to run Premiere Pro or some stupid shit like that. I'm gonna use Caden Live because it worked fine for me. You can you can you can do cuts in there. You can you can do cuts perfectly fine in that. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing stuff like this, but I I figured you know. It's interesting. I was watching a video and I realized that it's just like, you know, all these videos are just some dude turns on a camera and starts talking about something that he cares about and then that's it. And I'm like, that's not that hard. I could do that. I don't need to I don't need to make a script. I don't need to make this huge plan. Just plug in a camera and go. So, I've got I've got um I've got Entangle running and it's capturing the output on my DSLR. I've got OBS running, and it's literally just recording straight from, straight from that window, and um, recording the audio from my, <clears throat> um, my Fifine microphone, and that's it. Easy. I might keep doing this if anyone likes this. I let me know, please, because. Um, if it, this is the kind of thing that somebody enjoys, I would be very happy to keep trying. But if no one really cares, I don't care. So, all right. Cheers.